Hi, my name is Tom Fowler, and today we will be discussing the TSIS D IEC style family of contactors and overload relays. The TSIS D is the world's most popular contactor. In other words, we produce more TSIS D contactors than any other company in the world. The TSIS D family of contactors is available in ratings from 9 amps up to 150 amps AC3 or inductive rating but it also has a resistive rating that goes up to 200 amps for AC1 applications. Let's take a closer look at some of the features that you get with every TSIS D contactor. First, it's available in 11 different contactor ratings, or 11 different sizes, and they range from 9 amps up to 150 amps inductive. But they're also available in either 3 or 4 pole configurations. Now if you take that, add in two built-in auxiliary contacts with every TSIS-D contactor, you'll have a real competitive advantage in the marketplace. Most of our competitors only offer a single auxiliary contact. So we can actually save the customer money by including two auxiliary contacts, which are pretty common in most applications. All of the TSIS-D family of IEC style contactors are IP20 or finger safe design. So in other words, you cannot accidentally bump into any current carrying conductor part. So everything is finger safe. All of the contactors mount on a standard 35 millimeter DIN rail or they can be directly panel mounted. So you have your choice, DIN rail mounting or panel mounting. The inductive ratings also carry resistive ratings up to 200 amps. So every contactor has both an inductive rating as well as the resistive rating on each contactor. The horsepower ratings actually go up to 100 horsepower at 480 volts and 125 horsepower at 600 volts. We have a very high fault current rating on all of the TSIS D contactors and that is up to 100 Ka with Class J fuses at 600 volts and up to 100 Ka with circuit breakers at 480 volts. These short circuit current ratings are second to none and they offer you a very distinct advantage out in the marketplace. The TSIS D comes with a wide variety of optional accessories. These accessories, for the most part, simply snap into place. So things like auxiliary contacts, electronic or pneumatic timers, all simply snap into the front of the contactor or control relay. We also have a wide variety of AC or DC control voltage coils. So any control voltage up to 600 volts, we have a coil that will meet the application. Let's take a look at the overload relay. We have two different styles of overload relays, both a bimetallic and a solid state overload. And when we look at the bimetallic overload, it's available in two different trip classes, either a class 10 or a class 20 design, and they're available for current ratings up to 140 amps. Now both the bimetallic and the solid state overload relays include the following accessories. They include isolated, normally open, and normally closed auxiliary contacts. These contacts are typically used in the control scheme and used as either to trip the starter or to open up under an overload condition or to signal an alarm contact or a light or a buzzer to take place in the event of a motor overload. All the settings on the overload relay are tamper resistant. In other words, we have a clear plastic window that can be locked into place that guarantees that you can lock in the, the thermal settings of the device and avoid any tampering with the motor overload relay settings. We also have a test feature built into the overload so if you want to test out the control scheme during commissioning or startup it's very easy to use. You simply push the button and you can simulate a motor overload. Now we also offer a reset that can be configured in the manual mode, which is the way it comes from the factory, or you have the option to convert it into an automatic reset mode for select applications. 
we have global approvals on the product line. So we have UL and CSA for the North American market, the CE mark for international applications, but we also have the CCC mark for use in the Chinese marketplace. So we truly have a global product here with the world's most popular contactor. And in September of 2015, we'll have a complete range of solid state overload relays for the TSIS D family of motor starters. Let's take a closer look at the LR9D electronic overload relays. This is a brand new option for us. It has a very wide adjustment range. So it's a five to one ratio. This overload relay is self-powered, meaning it does not take any external control voltage to operate it. You would use the new LR9D overload the same way you would a bimetallic overload, except you'll do it with fewer parts. You cut the number of overload relay part numbers in half when you use the LR9D family of overloads. This overload mounts directly to the TSIS D family of contactors from 9 amps up to 32 amps, and that current range is from a tenth of an amp up to 32 amps. We also have a separate panel mounting option. So we have a mounting shoe which you insert the overload relay in, as you see in the photo. This can be either be panel mounted or mounted on a 35 millimeter dim rail. The overload relay is also selectable from class 5, 10, 20, or 30 trip settings. It provides complete three-phase motor overload protection and can also be used in single-phase applications. The solid-state family of overload relays for the TSIS D meets all global standards, including IEC standards, the CEMAR, UL, CSA, and even the German agency, TUV. So a wide variety of global approvals, just as we have for all of the TSIS-D family. The electronic overload relays are available with type 1 or type 2 coordination. They also have a 65 kA component rating, meaning that you can use the TSIS-D LR9 relays on applications with fault currents available up to 65 kA at 600 volts when protected by Class J fuses or circuit breakers. So a wide variety of applications can use the solid state overload relay, but some of the key features, it does not generate any heat that you would get with a bimetallic overload, and it also has a very wide thermal adjustment range. So think of fewer part numbers, less heat, and a wide variety of applications with the new LR9D electronic overload relay. The product is available as a, as a motor starter. You simply connect the LRD overload to the contactor. It's also available as a reversing contactor, so it can be used in a wide variety of reversing uh, motor starter applications as well as contactor only applications. The overload relay is available in either a bimetal design or we have the option for a new solid state overload relay. So a number of different configurations are available with TSIS D and a wide variety of accessories are available as well. Let's take a look at some of the applications. And you'll find that they cover pretty much every application where a motor needs to be controlled. Whether it be in an HVAC system where we carry a number of HVAC approval ratings, also pumping applications, solar power applications, material handling, crane, hoist applications, all are very popular applications for a TSIS-D. They can be used to create motor starters in any application, simply add the overload relay. Some of the typical applications also include pumping applications, mining, material handling, and as I say, HVAC and also solar applications, all are using the world's most popular contactor, the TSIS D today. Well, that's the end of our presentation on the TSIS D. Please take a look at our website for additional information on the product line. And as always, we thank you for selling Schneider Electric products.